Hi, this is Christina Lin, and welcome to the last episode of、um, Home Loan Quick Start Demo. And I like using JBoss Fuses because that it's easy to manage a large and distributed、um, deployments from a centralized location. With、um, JBoss Fuse, you can e- easily、uh, manage its configuration through the Git technologies underneath, and it has a profiling concept. So all the、uh, files and configurations are.、Uh, Organized as a group of、uh, profile that allows you to determine which containers and、um, you like to deploy it on and or distribute it across your whole network. And it supports、uh, it supports、um, m- multiple versions, so it's easy for you to do the、um, up rolling upgrades and rolling back with Strayboss Fuse without any problem because it's just Git's. And、um, with Strayboss Fuse, it's easy、um, to Do your scale, do your scale up and scale down, and high availabilities because it's underneath. It has a zookeeper runtime registry, so it's hiding all the nasty IP and networking、um, stuff from you. So the programmer just for programmers, it just works. So all you have to do is、um, run JBoss Fuse and set up the things that you need, and it just runs. And for that, let's start our.、Um, Demo and in this demo, we're not going to do any codings at all. What we do, what we are going to do is we're going to do the actual deployments for、uh, setting up the JBoss Home Loan demo on Fuse con- our OSGI container. And we are going to start up a container. And on the top of container, we are going to set up a, a broker that's running inside the contain container instead instead of a、um, uh, in memory uh, in memory. Messaging broker that we have before, and、um, we are going to deploy our、uh, camel configurations and camel programs, and onto the container. And this is all we ha- we want to do here. So, behind the scene of that, where we are, what we actually what is what we actually happening is that we are going to、um, do a Maven install. So everything is going to be pushed up on the on the Maven and. After that, we are going to use the、uh, Fabricate de-、um, deployment plugin, and the Fabricate deployment plugin is a it's not supported in、um, the six point one version, but I find it really useful, so I recommend that you try it. And for that, you don't have to go through all the、um, hassles of you know typing up the comments. All you have to do is just deploy it, and it's going to do all the setups for you. And what it's going to do is it's going to、um, Deploy your、uh, projects into a profile, and on top of the profile, we can、um, set up all the features and bundles that、uh, that needs to be installed on the container, such as the CXF and the、uh, the JXB that we have been using before. And the bundles are like the、um, the the plugins for the JDBCs and the、um, the common pool things. So、uh, all of these are going to be on the On the pro、uh, within the profile and everything is going to be set up, and after that,、uh, after that we're going to you know run it on top of the container and show you what's going on on top of that, and just for、uh, the extension that if in the future that you need to、um, deploy it onto another container container for the sake of load balance or just、um, you want to scale it up so it's it's handling more requests. All you have to do is create another container and、um, deploy your profiles on top of the f- containers, and let's start our demo. So the first step is to install the Fabricate deployment plugin.、Um, underneath pom.xml, we're going to add the plugs plugs in, in at the very end, and after that, we're going to、um, put the configurations for the、uh, profiles、uh, for the plug.、Uh, For the plugins in under、um, properties, what it has is just the bundles, profile names, and the features that's going to be needed later on. And we need to add the import package for the Postgres SQL driver. And after that, we're going to create a fabricate folder、uh, under the source, the main source folder, and that's it. And create the folder. And after that,、uh, we're I think we're all done before configuring. Configuring it, and、um, please unzip the JBoss Fuse um six point one file to somewhere that you need need it to be, and go into the file and go into etc directory, and find the user property. Here we're going to add the、um, default admin user just by commenting out the um the hash code hash be- be- before it, 
and go to the bin folder, bin directory, and start up JBoss Fuse by execu executing the Fuse uh, file, and it's going to start up our uh, Fuse container. And we're going to create a new fabric because we want to manage it um, instead of just one container. We're going to uh, manage it uh, under fabric, so we're going to create a fabric. So the fabric is just um, starting up, and that's it. So after we've done the uh, fabric creation, we're going to the new uh, manage console for JBoss Fuse, and it's under your IP uh, and port 8181 by default. And you will see the uh, root container that contains the um, JBoss Fuse. We're going to remove the full profile because we want to just keep it for uh, management use. So. For, um, under the MQ tab, there's going to be no brokers underneath. So we're going to create a new container for our demo. So we're going to name it new uh, demo container and add um, the JBoss Fuse profile as it contains all the um, configurations and settings for um, AMQ broker. And start up the uh, demo containers. And it's going to take um, a few, few seconds to start up the uh, container. So go inside the container, it's uh, running, and go into the container, we'll see all the logs and the um, messaging settings underneath. And you will see that uh, we have a uh, broker that's actually running, and it's, ru it's running under our um, JBoss demo container. So um, after that, we're going to do a little few tweaks on our blueprint. So the first thing is... Uh, we are going to add the uh, new messaging broker setting to the brokers that we have created on our uh, container under Fuse. So it's uh, here, and we're going to uh, read um, the ex the XML files from the uh, from the desktop because it's easier to demo. And we're going to change the directory, and that's it. We're going to save, and we're going to run the Maven install. Make sure it's on our Maven repo. And that's it. Okay, so we're going to run a Maven Fabricate uh, deployment, and it's going to run. So it's what it's going to do. It's it's going to install and uh, and deploy your Maven. Uh, repo into the container as a into a profile. So, at the uh, getting started profile into the demo container, it should run automatically. So, it's going to start in a few moments, and it will take a few moments to start all the camos and the uh, configurations. So you'll see a little camo. Uh, screen on it and maybe you want to restart it again. Sometimes I like to do that so make sure it's running alright. And start it. Yep. So go into the container that we have created. You should see the um, logs and the log should contain the information that's starting up and all the arrows as well. So go into the um, this the AMQ tab you will see the statistics of um, all the Queues and the going to the camel, you should see all the routes, informations, and diagrams, and you should be able to see the number of um, uh, times that it has run and the num the num total number of time it has been running. And we're going to the database and see there's currently nothing inside the database. And we're going to start by putting into putting in the XML file into the data file folder that we have set up before. So you will see in the um, active MQ tab that it has a uh, messaging goal inside and the actual running time for each of the routes. So you, you should see there's um, one route go into the um, customer side and the uh, customer um, routes and you'll see the results in the message uh, in the database as well. So we're going to put a, a house XML into the um, the file directory. So um, within the uh, messaging queue you should see um, like a how a message has been collected within the house queue and um, it's this running the um, house side of the demo and everything and the data is uh, inserted into the database so within the camera routes you should see within the school routes is asking for the um, 
upgraded um, school route uh, school appraise school routes yep and uh, we're going to put the um, rest of the XML in, into the file as well so you should see the um, messaging is going in and the numbers of time the number of time that's running and the total time it's running and we're going to run the uh, rest for web service so you should see the um, time is actually running yep and we're going to do another one as well so B yep, and enter so there's uh, the time to run it should um, reduce significantly because it's running the second time thanks and thanks for watching. So all the resource and the source code are under um, GitHub and everything should be under my blog as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.